Oh, tiramisu. There's something so delightfully indulgent about having coffee as a dessert. It's certainly a treat that ranks high on my list of favorite. The rich, bitter taste of coffee blending seamlessly with the sweet creaminess of the dessert is a culinary experience like no other. So let's dive right in, shall we? To start off, take a large bowl and to it, add three egg whites with half a teaspoon of cream of tartare. Whisk it aggressively until it fluffs up and creates stiff peaks. Once you've achieved the desired fluffiness, it's time to add the remaining ingredients. Slowly incorporate a quarter cup of protein powder followed by a quarter cup of sweetener. Blend all of these ingredients together on low speed until they're thoroughly combined. Now carefully pour the mixture into an oiled 6 inch tray, ensuring it's evenly spread. Preheat your oven at 350 Fahrenheit and bake it for 30 minutes, allowing it to rise and brown slightly. Once the baking time is up, remove the tray from the oven and let the cake sit and cool down to room temperature before handing it further. To make the coffee mix, I add to my bowl 8th of a cup of aromatic coffee, 8th of a cup of sweetener to balance the robust flavor of the coffee, and quarter teaspoon of vanilla to add a touch of warmth and sweetness. I stir these ingredients thoroughly until they're very well branded. In a separate bowl, I create the creamy, rich layer that gives the tiramisu its indulgent texture. For this, I use a quarter cup of cottage cheese, which provides a light yet satisfying creaminess, and a quarter cup of sweetener to enhance the smooth, sweet profile to the dish. And I mix these very well. Once these two components are ready, it's time for the exciting part, assembling the tiramisu. I begin by placing large, fluffy chunks of bread at the bottom of my cup. This bread will soak up the coffee mixture and become wonderfully moist and flavorful. I drizzle a teaspoon of the coffee mixture over the bread to ensure that every piece is imbued with delightful coffee and vanilla notes. Next, I layer on the creamy cottage cheese mixture. Spreading it evenly over the soaked bread, this creamy layer contrasts beautifully with the coffee soaked bread, creating a harmonious blend of taste and texture in every bite. I repeat these layers several times, building up the tiramisu until my cup is filled to the brim with delicious layers of coffee, cream, and bread. And there you have it, a simple yet incredibly tasty homemade tiramisu that is sure to impress. Enjoy this delightful dessert at any time of the day and savor every bite of its creamy, coffee-infused goodness. I really hope you give this recipe a try, and if you do, please let me know how you like it. Happy baking!